For this exercise, you need a crayon or a piece of compressed charcoal or graphite stick. You'll be drawing with a small piece of it on its side. At first, start by looking at your model and squinting a little. Squint until you blur away the details. Look just for the main shapes and the masses in front of you. You simplify these. Try to also imagine the actual physical weight of these masses. Then, start lightly and loosely in the middle of the main shape. Continue shading lightly, looking more at the model than at your drawing. Pause your shading when you need to look at your work. Don't draw if you're not looking at the model. Try to build up the shaded areas from the centre of a section towards the outside. Build it up slowly and don't try to draw the edges or contours at all. Leave the edges soft. Don't include any internal details either. This is a blocking in of the main shapes. It's like a drawing of the model's shadow, but working outwards from the centre. Treat the limbs simply as extensions of the main part of the form. For example, the leg of the model or the head. Always keep looking at the object and mould your shading to fit the main masses. These blocking in exercises help you see and then better emphasise the physical weight of the object or the model. Too often, a drawing or painting can lack the conviction of mass or weight to its detriment. The benefits of these blocking in exercises will become even more obvious when you start to paint, since most painting consists of the blocking in of broad colour areas. The small details in a painting usually go on last after the main shapes have been established. A good way to plan a painting and ease yourself into it is to draw some preliminary small sketches, just blocking in the main shapes. Remember to look at the model constantly and block in the shapes as you see them. The limbs and head should relate to the body. Focus on the shapes, their size and relationships to one another. Don't draw the details or the edges, simply block in the shapes. Leave the edges somewhat unfinished.